2. We go down to the bottom. Ephesians 5, 33. However, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must, let's say it together. I didn't hear it loud enough. And the wife must what? Respect, R-E-S-P-C-T, her husband. What does it mean to respect your husband? It means to have admiration for him. It means to esteem him. It means for you to value the man that God has given to you in your marriage relationship. Let me show you three ways, three ways that you can respect and demonstrate respect for your husband. Number one, wives, pray for your husband. Pray for your husband. Pray for God to give your husband the wisdom that he needs. Pray for God to protect your husband from the temptations that exist in the world. To protect him from the lies and the schemes of the devil that are trying to derail his walk with the Lord. Number two. Number one is pray. Number two is praise. Wives, you need to praise your husband. As a matter of fact, every single day I challenge you to find something to praise your husband for. Not to try and say, well, you did it, but it wasn't exactly the way I wanted it to be. That's actually the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. That's, no, find one small thing that you can praise your husband for. Your husband should feel like he's Superman in your eyes. Your husband should walk around the house like, man, I'm the greatest thing in this house. Even if it isn't true, just make him feel that way. Number three. Prepare. Number one, pray. Number two, praise. Number three, prepare. Please, ladies, do not tell me that you are looking better for your boss than you are for your husband. Don't tell me you get all dressed up, makeup and everything to go to work for your boss and then you're not looking presentable to your husband at home. Not only should wives prepare themselves, what about preparing the house for the coming of your king? What about if your husband, when he wants a sandwich, he wants it with mustard, and you don't put mayonnaise on it? Or if he wants mayonnaise, you don't put mustard on it. In other words, you're, you're preparing yourself and you're preparing your home and you're preparing to do things that you know will give pleasure to your husband. Are we on the same page? Everybody knows my joke about if you have a problem with my sermon, what to do? If anybody has any problem with my sermon, don't come talk to me. <laughs> Go talk to my wife. Because I don't preach one sermon to you guys here without me first preaching it to her. Amen? Amen. 